The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. indeed. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful morning, for the sunshine, for the cool air, for those who gather in this place where we are reminded, Lord, of our mortality, but also on this day when we are reminded of our immortality in you. So Lord, as we come now, begin this morning, Lord, may we begin it with hearts full of hope, hearts full of joy, and longing and anticipation for that day of our own resurrection, when we will be reunited with you, all of those in this place, all of those who share our name, all of those who may even be strangers to us. But Lord, that coming day when we will be reunited with all who've gone on before us and be reunited with you in your everlasting kingdom. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Were you there when he rose up from the were you there when he rose up from the grave? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. chapter 24. <clears throat> but on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the, to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. On that first Easter morning, those apostles, those women, they had some anticipation about what they would find there. Trusting that when they got to the tomb, that there would be a dead body. But when they got there, Everything was turned upside down. It wasn't the way it was supposed to be. Easter had come, and they didn't know it. They didn't have a word for it. They went expecting death, and instead found the disruptive reality of life. The life of Christ. And I wonder, as we stand here this morning watching the sun come up in this place that seems so certain for us, a place where... It seems like so many lives end. What are we anticipating? What are we expecting? And what this morning, in the reality of a risen Savior, disrupts our expectation? What are we hoping for? What are you hoping for right now? And what is Christ doing to disrupt what you expect? Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we come to you again this morning thankful for its truth, thankful for what it means to us. We come to you with hope, with anticipation, but also, Lord, knowing that in your new life and resurrection, there is disruption to our expectations. Help us, Lord, on this Easter morning to be open to what you have for us, even though it may catch us by surprise, 
even though it may be completely what we do not expect. Lord Jesus, help us. Help us to be ready to find you alive in our hearts and all around us. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Let's sing this chorus. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. moment we'll be uh, dismissed to go over and have breakfast over in the CMC maybe even get a little warm <laughs> and go over there but you've been called this morning heard the reality that the Lord is risen he is risen indeed may that be true not just for this moment and this day for you but for each moment and each day hereafter as his presence disrupts more and more of our expectations and our reality showing us more and more of the kingdom of God. Let's pray together. Lord, now as we go to share in a time of fellowship and warmth with one another, God, bless that time. Bless this day as we gather for worship, as we gather with family and as we gather with friends, or as we gather with you, our risen Savior, our Redeemer and friend, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <Peace>. <laughs>